next presenter, Ms. Rosni Baral uh, from Plant Breeding, to present her research findings entitled uh, Assessment of Genetic Variability of Black Gram Vigna Mungo LFO Genotypes in Lamjung, Nepal. Uh, Rosni, uh, uh, now the floor is yours. Thank you, Song. So, am I visible and audible? Yeah, yeah. So can I start? Please go ahead. Okay. Start. Uh, hello and namaste everyone. This is Roshni Baral presenting you all about my UPA research entitled Assessment of Genetic Variability of Black Gram Genotypes in Lamjung, Nepal. Let me start with introduction first. Black Gram, also known as mass, Udvin or black lentil, is self-pollinating legume that has mainly tropical to subtropical distribution. It is rich in vegetable protein, minerals and vitamins that are required by our human body. When provided with cereals, black gram complements the essential amino acids like leucine, lysine, isoleucine, etc. According to MOLD 2018 or 19, black gram contributes to 5.21% of national pulse production from an area of 7.08%. It is mostly preferred and predominantly grown by the people in Mid Hill region. Despite this importance of the black gram, they only have a subsidiary status in total farming system. Is mostly they are only cultivated in marginal lands and also under the rent-fed condition. Major constraint in that affects the production stability as well as farmers' preference of the black run is lack of suitable variety and genotypes that are adopted to local condition. Also, the research in this space is has somehow lagged behind that of cereals and other legumes. So here occurs a great need for the improvement of this crop through evaluation and utilization of available genotypes. Research was conducted with the general objective of determining genotypic variability and diversity of black gram genotypes. The specific objectives of the research were to evaluate performance of black gram genotypes in Lamjung, Nepal, to study genotypic variability among e components, and to estimate the genetic parameter of variation, heritability, genetic advance expression of mean, and cluster analysis of collected black gram genotypes. Literature were reviewed on the fol under following headings, genetic variability, heritability in broad sense, genetic advance, and cluster analysis. To talk about materials and method, research was conducted in research field of IS Lamjung for the duration of around uh, four months starting from 15th of July. Genotypes used in research are as shown in the screen which were collected from National Grand Legume Research Program Khajura Bake. To talk furthermore about the experiment in detail, these 10 genotypes were laid in RCVD with three, three replication. Its experimental plot was made of four meters square which had 100 plants and with planted with the crop geometry of 40 into 10 centimeter. The rate of fertilizer application was 20 is to 40 is to 20 and PK kg per hectare is suggested by NARC. Analysis of data was done through Excel 2016, RStudio version 3.6.2 and Minitab. Data were recorded for 12 quantitative threads as shown in the uh, screen for the estimation of genetic parameters of variation. Xenotypic variance, phenotypic variance, genotypic coefficient of variance, phenotypic coefficient of variation, uh, broad sense heritability, genetic advance as percent of mean, and cluster analysis were estimated from the data recorded. All the data were recorded from 10 randomly selected plants, leaving the border roads, uh, border roads in each side. Moving into result and discussion, results showed significant differences among all the traits under study, except for pots per plant, indicating existence of wide range of variability among the genotypes we studied. 
result from mean comparison table showed that early maturing varieties were xenotype with entry number 3 and 10 that is khajura mass 1 number of primary branches was list for the xenotype with entry number 4 number of pod bearing peduncle was maximum for the xenotype with entry number 10 that is khajura mass 1 uh, early maturing varieties were genotype with entry number 3, 4, 5, and uh, 10, that is Khajura mass 1. Pod length was maximum for the genotype with entry number 9, that is Saker 1. Uh, 100 seed weight was maximum for the genotype with entry number 4. Plant height was minimum for the genotype with entry number 3. And grain yield was found maximum for the genotype with entry number 8. And but also genotype with entry number two, three, five, and seven were also found promising in case of grain yield. Uh, variation, heritability, and genetic advanced results showed that phenotypic variance was higher than the genotypic variance for all the trace centers study, indicating there were some kind of influence from the environment to all these traits. But the difference between GCB and PCB was found to be very low, except for the trade pods per plant, indicating that no, except for pods per plant, although all other traits were more under genetic control and less under the influence of environment. High genetic coefficient of variation and high phenotypic coefficient of variation was observed for the trait like branch length, number of pod bearing peduncle, pods per plant, and yield per plant. High heritability, along with high genetic advanced expression of mean, was observed for the trait like branch length, number of pod bearing peduncle, uh, peduncle length plant height and yield per plant, indicating that these traits are, under, are in additive gene action and selection of this trait could be done through a simple selection processor. Phenotypic coefficient of variation higher than the genotypic coefficient of variation. This result was supported by the result conducted by Konda et al. 2009, Mohanlal et al. 2018, Reddy et al. 2018, Tohan et al. 2020. Result for high PCB and high ZCB were in accordance with Panigrahi et al. 2014, Patel et al. 2014, Gosola et al. 2016. Result for high heritability coupled with high genetic advances percent of mean was in accordance with result reported by Vekansa et al. 2005, Reddy et al. 2011, Susmita Raj et al. 2018. Cluster analysis was done through average linkage method. Result indicated sufficient variability among the xenotypes, distinctly differentiating them into three different clusters. Cluster 1 was found to be largest, having six xenotypes. Cluster 2 was found to be monoxenotypic cluster, whereas cluster 3 was reported with three, three xenotypes, as shown in the dendrogram. Uh, Intercluster distance between cluster 2 and cluster 3 was found to be maximum, indicating wider genetic variability. Table shows cluster mean value of different characters obtained from cluster analysis of black gram genotypes, which indicated cluster 1 representing uh, late flowering, late maturity, uh, maturity, high branch length, high pod length, a high seed spore pot and high plant height. Cluster 2 was noted with early maturity, early flowering, high peduncle length, high thousand seed weight, and high plant yield per plant. Cluster 3 was characterized with high number of primary branches, high number of pod bearing peduncle, high number of pods per plant, early maturity, moderate flowering, and moderate seed spore pot, thousand seed weight, and moderate yield per plant. To, uh, to come into conclusion of my research, uh, it was found that genotypes BLG006361, BLG00761, and Khajura Mas1 were found to be promising for yield and yield attributing traits in case of lumping environmental condition. So, these genotypes are suggested to be further evaluated in multilocational trial. Uh, for the traits like pod, number of pod bearing peduncle and grain yield, these traits had high GCB, high heritability, and high genetic advances percent of mean. So uh, these traits need to be considered for the selection and improvement of grain yield. This uh, result also need further confirmation through multilocational trial. 
cluster in case of cluster result clusters 2 and 3 could be used for the hybridization program due to their wider genetic diversity whereas cluster uh, selection of the cluster could be done from super rare cluster that is cluster third Uh, I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude my, to my major advisor, Dr. Navraj Adhikari, Professor of Lamjung Campus, to my minor advisor, Ankur Baudil, Assistant Professor of Lamjung Campus, for their constant guidelines, support, and motivation throughout the research period. I also owe my gratitude to Kostra Subhadaya, Assistant Professor of Gauradhara Agriculture Campus, and Dipendra Kumar Ayer, Plant Breeder at Levo, for their for the support and guidance during data entry. and analysis i'd like to thank national grain legume research program for providing us the genotype that we required for the research without my friends seniors and juniors i wouldn't have been able to reach to this point so i'd like to thank them also last but not the least i would like to uh, thank is lamjung and rd tech for providing this opportunity and platform here are some photographs that were clicked during our research period Thank you. This much. So any queries would be highly appreciated. Uh, thank you, uh, Rosmi, uh, for your very nice presentation. Uh, and uh, now the floor is uh, open for discussion. If anybody have questions from audience, please ask her. Okay, uh, in the in the moment in this gap, uh, I want to express uh, something about uh, Rosemary Bayal. She did very well, and her presentation was outstanding. It is a type of it is a type presentation. Uh, everybody has to present clearly, sharply. With a clear sound, she did very well, uh, and she has experimented uh, very well. I have watched her from the very beginning, and uh, she collected data very good, and she has analyzed. And she also worked with another friends; also. they were cooperating to each other. Anyway, I appreciate uh, for her uh, experimentation, for her, for her tabulation, for her analysis, and uh, her presentation, and she still. Uh, i have seen her uh, case is also progressing in a very excellent way in very high speed uh, okay uh, roshni i want to congratulate for the successful presentation of this program and for the uh, ongoing graduation uh, ceremony also i want to congratulate okay roshni thank you sir please uh, please dnc please uh, open this forum to other audience also if the uh, forum is uh... already open for the open discussion if no questions are coming then let us move ahead uh, no there uh, we have yeah. some question on chat box dinesh sir yeah yeah i am getting it uh uh, uh from biswas kesi uh, has uh, asked why cluster 3 recommended with low yield per plant why cluster 3 recommended low yield for plant okay uh, thank you for your question uh, the cluster three was uh, with a lower yield but it wasn't even uh, very low yield it was at the moderate level and it also had a higher number of primary branches number of peduncles were also high uh, that means even though the yield was at the moderate level other threads that were economically important for the yield are uh, in a higher side so i recommended uh, for the cluster 3 instead of other clusters if there are no more question uh dinner yes, sir Yeah, I have one question. Okay, okay, okay. Go on, go on. Uh, well presented, Rosni. Just uh, wanted to know. It's, it's actually not related to your presentation, but I just wanted you to inform all the juniors who are coming up for the UP that the major problems you faced during your research, if you could highlight that, 
uh, that would be easier for other juniors to plan their research work back in Lamjo. Yes, sir. So thank you for the question, sir. And it would be my good opportunity to express about the research. Uh, it being enthusiastic about the research and reading, we selected and we got uh, we got opportunity. No, no. Just I was I was I just asked you what are the hurdles and problems you faced during a trial. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, major problem that we faced was uh, uh, monkeys. <laughs> So they were so disaster in our research and they, they even they affected our um, pots and other seeds during the harvesting time. It was a great challenge and another was mouse around the field. There were a lot and we had uh, we had to choose and uh, select or browse a lot of uh, ideas to control the mice too. So they were the main challenging for the um, trial and another was we had to stay in between the um, holidays and so and all, do all the field work and harvesting drying and tracing all works alone and it was really a little difficult and then other tax thank you despite of all the challenge you you came up with this data and you did really good presentation congratulations thank you sir if there are no more questions i have just simple query uh, Rosni, uh, please uh, make me simply clear uh, what is the difference between genotypes and variety? Uh, variety is the released one that are uh, available for the public use, but genotypes uh, is not the it's not uh, the one that we uh, are that we uh, make available for the public or the use after genotypes after the uh, several trials and uh, different uh, crossing overs then only they are uh, released as the varieties uh, thank you rosni for your very nice presentation